Jimmy, you little shit. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm going to speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Okay. Yeah. This is the full set. 
is something all-encompassing. Like a big compass which has everything in it. Not just a silly arrow that tells you which way to go north, but also a lot of other arrows that tell you other shit. Like which way to the liquor store. Or if some fool is getting fresh, or if you are the one with all me. Shit. A call of a compass that tells you straight shit and real shit. I saw the arrows, a whole bunch of arrows in that damn compass. No, that's just, isn't that a GPS? No, 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 no. You're thinking about navig navigation, that kind of shit in your car. Yeah, the liquor store. You're, no, but see, yeah, that's what you're wrong. You ain't in the car. You're navigating on foot. You understand? Ah. Now, I don't know what app you got, but your mind is an app. Cheryl, you are a damn app. Wow. You flowing. You are flowing, girl. Um, now, say, oh, man, you float and rise yourself off the ground right now in front of all these people on the radio. Okay, all right. Uh. Uh, I want to see you better rise uh, off the ground to fly gravity right now. Okay. Um, sure, I'm just still rolls on off the ground. ground. She just rolls off the ground. I'm still on the ground. She is floating on her You're spirituality not right being now. Honest. You understand? She is floating right now. This is a karma compass, everybody. Okay. That tells you street shit and real shit. It's like one of them senses that tell you if there are aliens crawling in the ceiling and they are getting closer and you freaking the hell out because you are like, this alien gonna drop through this ceiling, towel, and whoop some ass. Right, Cheryl? That damn alien gonna come through that ceiling and whoop some human ass. While the man is fighting the aliens, corner crying. That's not really fair, but... It's not fair. But that's what happens in the movies. That's exactly what happened. You hide in the corner, or you try to run, and you trip. Okay. Right? Not black women, but white women do trip. I'm sorry. I had to go there with you, but I gotta go there. I had to pull a race car. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy, that's all I could do. Oh, hi. Somebody say something? Enjoy the view! Enjoy the view! It's a horizon over there. 
There's mountains and there's peaks and there's valleys on that body. You understand? Share the women, but just don't leave no stains, cause that ain't nice. You don't leave a stain on a man's leg. Oh, is that nice, Cheryl? No. Is that nice, Cheryl, for you to get on top of another man's woman and leave stains and don't go to that restroom and get to a towel and wipe her off? It's not, oh, that's man. very, uh, it's unsanitary and it's not nice. It's very unsanitary. You have stained me. Cause every time I make love to my woman, all I'm thinking I'm a registered health practitioner with an international recognized degree. I'm a trained yogi who suck both his big toes at once. I'm an expert in cleansing, a devotee of colonics, and a wise man. You know what colonics are? Yeah. What do the colonics go through? It's goes, it goes to your butthole. Your ass. Your it ass. goes to your ass, Cheryl. I'm a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior all at the same time. Sometimes I'm a warrior and compassionate at the same time. That I'm coming from sometimes. A lady Well, 
You can take a crack at flying upside down! lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later lessons. obstacle course is designed to teach you how to get better control over your turns. The course goes around the harbor and you have to stay low to make the checkpoints. You'll need to use your rudders to help you make some of the sharp turns. I want you to use everything you've learned so 
far to navigate this course as fast as you can. Watch your altitude, though. This is really a test of how low you can go and how well you can maneuver the plane. lesson, I'm going to teach you how to perform an emergency landing. Remember to begin decelerating while you are still airborne for a smoother touchdown. Then, once you're on the ground, the brakes should bring you to a full stop very quickly. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're going to practice an emergency landing on that bridge, straight ahead. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is going to stop pretty fast. Wow, you, you kept the plane in one piece. I guess I'd call that a successful landing. The inside loop can be a little disorienting, so we'll see how you do under pressure. Make sure you start this stunt from a completely level position. It's also important to remember to pull your stick back as straight as you can so you don't get thrown into a spiral. Take off and head for the marker at the end of the runway. Some pilots find these moves particularly tricky so it might take you a few tries. Always make sure your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. 
On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. Just like before, steady the plane first, wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking! You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. Now, roll the plane right side up. Good job! Hard to believe you were only a beginner not that long ago! You've been doing so well in the plane, we're gonna put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. And sign the waiver.
landing pad. Go ahead and set her down nice and easy. Awesome! Not too bad for your first tele course, but we've got some work to do. lesson, but with a real emphasis on speed this time. Finish the obstacle course around the city before the timer runs out, and try not to crash. At the end of the course, you'll be required to safely land your helicopter. fly a helicopter. Now you're going to learn how to jump out of one. Aim for the landing target and pull your chute when you get close to the ground. The parachute is difficult to control, so slow your approach and give yourself extra time to correct. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. Aim for the 
the target and deploy your parachute when you start getting close to the ground. involves skydiving onto a moving target. So I hope you brought a change of underwear. <laughs> the target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully and pay attention to the route. It may take several tries, but once you get this down, you'll be terrorizing drivers all over Los Santos. Your final lesson is going to combine extremely dangerous stunts with highly populated city areas in an assault course that will put everything you've learned during your time at flight school to the test. For your sake, I hope you've been practicing knifing and flying upside down.
got to follow the route, buddy. a lot of progress. 